Hello. Based on feedback from some of my other videos, it seemed like it made sense to do a roundup video covering all of my 3D printed mounts to get verbal controls to fit onto my sim rig. So these are all quick release 3D printed solutions. They're available on Thingiverse and Printables, and I'll attach links in the video. So let's get started with the flight throttle. The flight throttle mount consists of a few parts. There is a main base that screws into the bottom of the verbal plate and it also bolts into 40 series profile that allows adjustments vertically and horizontally and there is a an additional 3d printed part that i'm using to mount directly to my seat brackets the mount that goes to the seat brackets is one that you might need to modify so i'm including fusion 360 drawings in the uh, with the part so that you could modify it as needed for your specific rig. Uh, let's uh, look at this in a little more detail. The quick release mechanism is operated using two dials at the bottom. By loosening these, you, uh, you are releasing the tension on a, a double length economy bolt. So it just slides off. And uh, that leaves you with the mount. As I mentioned, uh, these knobs attach to a two bolt or economy T nut. And uh, if we drop these out, what you'll see is there is a slot in the bottom, and that slot uh, fits into the profile. There's also a notch in the side here. This utilizes two very long. 8 millimeter bolts running the full length inside of the body to reinforce it and make it stiff. I went through five different versions of this before I got one that was stiff enough where I was happy with how it felt. The Verpal flight mount uses four bolts into the base right here. For the CM1 there are access holes so that you can adjust the detents on the throttle and uh, there is a version without the hole in it uh, for the CM2 and obviously the CM3 has all of the uh, detents adjusted on top. The adjustability of this is maintained through these two pieces of profile. The corner braces control the uh, vertical and the horizontal so the two bolts going into the side allow this to slide up and down and the two going into that profile at the bottom, allow it to uh, slide fore and aft, but you can also use a larger piece of profile if you needed more range of motion, and there is some adjustment uh, when you're sliding it in to the mount above it. I have a piece bolted to the end here as a stop so that I slide it forward to where I like it to be. The flight control mount piece bolts in using four M8 by 16 beveled bolts on one side and another M8 by 16 socket head bolt on the other. And that holds it on very solidly. It's not going anywhere. The collective stick mount uses two large knobs. They're M8s and they have two half inch spacers and a bolt holding them, uh, holding the top spacer in place. The offset is necessary so that the knobs have clearance past the frame of the verbal mount that comes out of the box. These come off easily. Just loosen the bolts. What you can see underneath is that there are, here's where the two M8 bolts come through. You can see the guides that fit into the slots of the profile. And you can see the recessed bolts that are through bolted into the Verpal metal hardware. This has been working well for me for a while. This is the Verpal stick mount. It consists of three pieces that attach a CM1 
one, two, or three mount uh, to the to the uh, vertical profile frame like I have here. Uh, there's a, a left and right side, and then there's a center section that bolts into the bottom of the uh, the flight base. And uh, the bolt pattern stayed the same. Uh, I had a CM2 and a 3 that I've used on this so far. The fourth piece that has the 500 gram counterweight is specific to my situation because I have the extension coming back and then I have the Z extension also coming back which created an offset. With the counterbalance this works for me and that specifically helps with, with my arrangement here. So this is a friction fit and a, a gravity fit. So you just drop this into place and it goes in here. So to pull it out, it comes up like so. You can see there's ridges on here. They fit into stepped ridges in the bottom. And when you drop it into place, you simply drop it down until it is flush. And, and that's it. It stays in place very well in, in flight. I have no issues with it with my motion system um, and it is very convenient. There's no muss, no fuss. So let's look at the thing itself. I'll show this from another angle so that you can get a better feel for this. That gives you an idea. So there's sometimes pulling it out takes a little more effort. But the uh, the ridges interlock and hold it solid. And the um, there is a little bit of a break-in period. You can adjust the tightness of the bolts on either side of this to make sure that you fit the width properly and then it will take a few break-in cycles of pushing it in place and pulling it out before it'll be a little smooth. It'll bind a little initially. You can see that this takes three M8 socket head bolts and technically they are in slots so they can be adjusted slightly in, uh, in terms of how uh, it fits vertically if you need to make any small adjustments. Otherwise uh, you can also decide which slot you want things positioned in. So I could lower this down another slot if I wanted to and uh, and then I could adjust it slightly from there. But it is important to make sure you get everything perfectly level if you don't have it like I have here. Right now I have it resting at the top of those slots so everything is perfectly level. Uh, you could push it all the way up so it's at the bottom and that's about a half step between the slots in the profile. So that's your vertical adjustability. As you can see, here are the steps in the side. You can see a little bit of wear from uh, multiple inserts and extractions. The, the counterweight uses the two screws similar to these right here at the top. So I just, uh, I just used those to position the counterweight if you need it. And, uh, I can provide links to the 500 gram counterweight that happens to fit this. All right, from the underside, you can see there are four bolts that go into the bottom of the CM2 or CM3 base. And uh, I have the corners rounded to match the, uh, the CM3. And uh, it all fits together pretty easily. The, the other a uh, little thing that I like is uh, is this. It's it's a very simple um, mount. Uh, there are these rubber cable guides. They have adhesive backs, and I simply made a uh, piece of PLA that matches the circumference of this and has a bolt hole for an M8 uh, countersunk bolt. And then when you have things like a collective or a uh, flight stick that you may interchange, you can just snap it into these cable guides very easily and it keeps your uh, keeps you from tripping on your cables or 
yanking something that you don't want to out of uh, the back of, of your Verpal equipment. Obviously, the uh, end connectors shouldn't, shouldn't be pulled on very hard. Uh, that's a weak spot you have to be careful of. At any rate, hopefully, hopefully for, uh, for some people who have profile rigs, this will help you mount some uh, Verpal equipment to it. Uh, hope it's been helpful. Later.